NVIDIA's Reflex version 2 is planning to be released along with the launch of the new 50 series GPUs. What in the world will this new feature entail? Well, let's start off with the original version of Reflex, version 1, which works by minimizing system latency, the delay between your input and the resulting action appearing on the screen. And this, in short, works by synchronizing the CPU and GPU more efficiently. In traditional rendering pipelines, the CPU generates frames faster than the GPU can process, leading to a queue of frames waiting to be rendered by the GPU. This queue can cause input lag because what you see on screen may reflect older inputs. Reflex prevents this buildup by ensuring the CPU only works when the GPU is ready to process the next frame. Version 2 of Reflex will implement this version 1, but it also adds on a brand new technology, which they have dubbed frame warp, which updates the game frame based on the latest mouse input just before it's displayed, which further minimizes input lag. NVIDIA claims that in comparison to a machine that doesn't use Reflex, that by using version 2 you can reduce your input lag by up to 75%. I'll have a video linked that I recommend you all go watch where NVIDIA actually goes over potential downside in which this technology, as it is one that shifts many of the game's pixels, can create small holes in the image. They do account for this though by adding in a predictive rendering algorithm which uses data from prior frames to fill in those holes. One of the next main things from that video that I think is worth mentioning is that they even said in cases of CPU bottlenecking, this new frame warp technology will still provide noticeable improvements unlike their version 1. And now the last thing you might be wondering is if you'll have to buy the new 50 series for this to work. Well, you will be happy to hear it is coming to all RTX GeForce cards and not just the 50 series, but the downside right now is that it'll only be out for the 50 series starting out. And another thing to mention too is they're only launching this with support for the finals and for Valorant, but they do plan on announcing more games shortly to bring this feature to all the top competitive games. I'll stop yapping now, go watch their video on it where they blast you with music the whole time, and if you could be so kind to leave a like on the video and to turn on those notifications, you know I really do appreciate it. With that, I'll see you guys in the next one.